major success. Finally, we're getting somewhere with this thing. I got mocked up, and I can't wait to show you what we found out. Right? I thought this was about me. So, as that's concerning. As we can see, we have this whole thing kind of mocked up here. Well, I did, and I have since unmocked it. Because I, you know, piston and valve clearance, that's the big thing for today. And one thing that surprised me a little bit uh, also that I found. So, just to recap, this has been the bane of our existence. The bane of my existence for a long time. Trying to figure out a head-piston combination. Because we have stock TRW 302. No, don't, don't eat that. Goodness gracious, trying to work with a child is just impossible. <sighs> Let me just show you. Alright, so to recap, these are AFR Renegade 165cc cylinder heads. At least they were 165s. There has been some porting and bigger 202 intake diameter valves put in these heads. They're kind of a trick unit. But... That's the big problem, because we have stock, you know, 302 pistons, forged stock internal 302 pistons, with the dinky valve reliefs. So piston to valve clearance has been, well, the concern, because I called, and we have a Anderson N41 camshaft in the thing. Now, I called them, and I said, hey, this is my setup. Is this going to work? You know, just to get a rough guesstimate on what they... They they told me flat out, no way, Jose, not even close. So that's what I assumed. Well, year and a half down the line, here we are, finally checking everything out. So let me pull this head off and show you what we found. Well, there's our combination, and this is our piston and valve clearance. Look at that. The exhaust didn't even touch and the intakes the actual depth itself we have miles of room that's like a hundred and forty thousandths right there miles of room now the eyebrow because of the bigger diameter as you can see that little shine right there that's the edge of the eyebrow of the uh, valve relief that's this edge right here so all we have to do is come in layer back and we will be perfectly fine with running uh, this is an old head gasket. I used it because, well, I'll show you here in a second. This measured out to 60 thousandths. I used one factory 1.6 rockers. And, uh, well, like I said, the clearance there was about 140 thousandths. So I figure I can use a 40 thousandths uh, thickness head gasket. Still be safe. Possibly 1.7 rockers. That adds an extra 30 thousandths, I believe. Factoring all that together, I should still be left with around 90 thousandths clearance on this intake. Perfectly fine. But, you know, that's what we got right there. Man, I have been stressing over that for a long time. I mean, just filing back, well, dremeling back this eyebrow, that's nothing. So, another thing though, let me show you. Oh, well, actually, let me take this gasket off because I found something out during this whole ordeal. You want to rotate that? Rotate it until the piston's all the way at the top. How do I do that? No, yeah, just keep turning. Okay. Turning, turning, turn, stop. Look at what we got right here. The piston is damn near flush with the top of the deck. I mean, it, it's, I, I used a dial indicator on that. That is sticking above the deck surface about two and a half thousandths. As we can see, like so, we're about, what is that? Three thousandths above the deck. I'm going to call that zero decked. That's close enough for government work. 
So I'm going to call that zero decked. And I don't even know how that happened because the block, I don't believe, has been decked. I didn't have it decked when I sent it to the machine shop. And, uh, well, I, I, I guess these pistons have a thicker... Uh, uh, a thicker top on them, maybe. I'm not not sure. I thought they were going to be eleven thousandths in the hole, so I thought compression was going to be hard to find. Turns out, <laughs> this build is becoming more and more perfect every time I look at it. You will also notice that we installed this piston backwards because we're flipping the piston offset in this build. So, I mean, you, right, you know that this is supposed to be facing the front it's facing the back also it speeds up the piston um uh well okay you, you don't have to be you know trying to start it or nothing here hand starting it uh what was i going to say oh yeah it actually swapping the offset does a couple of things with piston speed too it speeds it up uh in the center of the stroke it actually makes the piston move faster which can help pull in intake charge. Uh, and also the geometry of, you know, relation to the crank and all that jazz. But, you know, just to point out, yes, it's in backwards. I know. Okay. And to also point out, yes, no, it's, I swapped banks. I didn't just take the piston and rotate it. I, I swapped banks. Okay. Just co covering all those bases, because I know I'll get a comment saying something or other. Which, I mean, you can still comment that, because comments are good for my algorithm, so. It just goes to show you, I, I've been stressing over finding a pair of cylinder heads and something to fit these pistons for the better part of a year. If I would have just put it together and mocked it up a long time ago, this thing probably would have been done by now. Thanks. Thanks for the boat of confidence there. Uh, so, but, anywho, so this is going to work out great. All I have to do is just, you know, dremel the eyebrows back a little bit. Perfectly fine. And uh, we'll, we'll have a short block. It, it, it's, it's, and we have heads. We'll have a long block once I get new uh, head bolts. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. What are you doing over here? You know, just mocking me. You're supposed to be my helper, not, you know, the person mocking me. Goodness. Hey, I've done it in another video. Okay? You've done it in every video. So, at any hoozle, that's the goal right now, is I'm going to be pulling that piston back out, doing all eight of them, filing it back. I think I want to get one seven rockers and put it all back together again, recheck it just to make sure my math is correct. But one seven rockers with this camshaft, I should be around the 540 lift range, exhaust and intake. So uh, that, that'll that be a little bit better with these heads. Right now, I think stock lift with that Anderson cam is around 512. Uh, so you know, a little more lift with those nice AFR ported heads probably work pretty good. Wow. I also did a little quick math with this whole uh, piston fiasco. Uh, not fiasco, but with, with the fact that it's basically zero decked now. Because I did all my uh, compression calcul calculations, assuming it was 11 thousandths in the hole, because that's what all the forums and everything said it was probably going to be uh so with a 40 thousandths head gasket and uh well everything being the way it is i assume this is probably i don't know how many cc's this piston top is uh, it's it's probably around two to four cc's i think with all the uh the little dish and the uh four eyebrows Especially opened up a little bit up here. So call it, you know, I don't know, five, five cc's. And that's just a rough guess. It, it's probably less. Uh, but all that being said, compression ratio on this thing is going to be about 10 to 1 when it's all said and done, which is absolutely perfect. I mean, that's 
right where I want to be. It's a nitrous build, so I don't want to get crazy with compression, but most of the time it's not going to be on nitrous. So, you know, for the 90% of the time, I want good compression. And the 10% of the time, you know, yeah, nitrous, right? Just run good octane, basically. After the second check is done with the 1.7 rockers, I just need to put these heads together and, uh, well, we're, we're pretty much almost there in terms of getting it built. And also good news, these tunnel ram ports are nitrous tunnel ram. Oh, you're not going to be able to see it. But the actual ports on this line up pretty decently with the ports on the AFR heads. These are just slightly bigger in the corners because this is more of a square port where those are more of an oval port. But all in all, very close. And we might be able to do a little bit of dimpling on the corners of this intake just to kind of create air eddies. That way it, you know, flows into the intake a little bit nicer. So that's pretty much all I got to share for you right now. I got some work to do, but I am extremely pumped because... Yeah, those heads are going to be killer on this engine. And the, you know, really strong forged pistons. Br brought to us by Nick McMahon. No, let's not forget that. Those are donated pistons. So I, it, I'm getting very excited for this build. It's, it's almost, it, it's shaping up extremely well. So I'm going to get to work. She's going to continue to bug me. And, uh, well, we will both catch you next time.